Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Got Next Gaming and Week 2 in Madden 18 with our New York Jets Connected franchise. We are getting ready to take on the Oakland Raiders, who are 1-0 with our downtrodden New York Jets. Nobody expects them to do anything this season. And we're going to see if we can't kind of make something happen here with a team that's not very good. We did not make any changes whatsoever to the roster. We do have some injuries coming into this week. We see Bryce Petty starting, McCown's down, and Blah Powell starting as Matt Forte is down. And we're getting ready now to go into game action here against an 85 overall Oakland Raiders with a 73 overall New York Jets. The only bright spot for this team so far, as I can see, is the defense. The defense is pretty solid here. And even that's a lot to... to kind of take in as well I mean we didn't expect the defense to be too great but they do have a great defensive line so the running game is something we can kind of focus on and they can't do much against us there passing game come on to give a different situation but we have a five uh to nothing turnover differential which is the key our defense was able to create turnovers four deceptions I think a fumble uh, it's just absolutely unbelievable what the defense is doing and we're gonna have to ride on the strength of the defense in order to get wins here as we're getting ready to take on a very dominant offense in the Oakland Raiders I mean they have the offense to do it they have Derek Carr the quarterback you see him coming out here now 200 yards no touchdowns though with deceptions didn't do anything in the passing game last week so much but we are kind of a different team that we're facing right here so they're going to get the ball first and they're going to take it from their own 25 yard line Carr looks to throw he hits Cooper on the wide receiver screen and he doesn't go anywhere with it at all they kind of stop him right away that's their first play from scrimmage. We'll take a look at the starting lineup for the Oakland Raiders as well. And we can see how they stack up on the offensive line. Donald Penn out there in the left tackle. We've got Marshall Lynch, who's back in the league, along with Amari Cooper, the wide receiver. A very, very solid-looking offense here, and they're going to be very dominant in the league. However, the first pass here on a third down and 10, Carr throws a pick to Jamal Adams, who goes up and gets the ball, returns it back to the 19-yard line, and there's... An interception, and this is what I'm talking about with this defense, folks. They are able to go out there and create these plays and get these turnovers. That's going to be the key for us if we want to win games here with this team because the offense just does not have it. They do not have it at all. Great pick there. I don't even know if it was on target to a receiver, if he just kind of cut the route. But a little bit of a ball hawk skill there, and we'll take that as the offense takes the field here. We see Bala Powell stepping out there, getting ready to do his job here. And run the rock for the Jets. And he does it right here. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. And he's finally brought down. But picks up 8 yards on his first carry there. And gets him down to the 11-yard line with a second down and 2. So now we're going to set up here again. And Blau is the lone back. And he gets enough for the first down. And then some gets down to about the 4-yard line. Picking up 7 yards on the play right there. Gotta love it. So now we're going to get a second down and goal situation here from the three. And we have a man in motion. They pitch it to Bilal Powell who runs and breaks the plane of the end zone. Gets in there. Looks like they're going to call it a touchdown here as he's in the end zone. Definitely breaks the plane. But there's going to be a booth review. I guess you're going to see what the spot of the ball is. Maybe he had a knee down or something before getting into the end zone. We'll take a look here. We can see the knee definitely hits before crossing into the end zone. But does he break the plane before the knee goes down? Hard to tell from that angle there. Uh, can't really see it, but they are going to call it uh, no touchdown there. Going to call the spot of the ball at like the one-yard line. As the knee definitely did hit the turf before getting into the end zone. So we go for a third down, and it doesn't make it. So we're going to have the fourth down on one. And we're going to just put up the field goal here. And we'll take the three points. Not what we wanted. Kind of a disappointing uh, start there, especially with the great field position. Got to take advantage of those, but we did not there. But at least we come away with the three points. I mean, I hate having to say that, at least. But they're down in one here as Oakland takes over. Let's see what Carr can do as he hands off to Marshawn Lynch, who gets the first down there. Easy first down run for him as there was nobody in the gap there, and he gets right through with a big gain on the play there. So second down and three now. Nobody in the backfield throws, hits the tight end over the middle, and he is brought down, but not before getting the first down and moving the chains to the 42-yard line for the Oakland Raiders. And it looks like they're now starting... To get a little bit of a drive going as they build some momentum here. Third down and two now on the 34. He's going to hand off to Lynch, but he's brought down in the backfield as Darren Lee gets in there for the tackle for a loss. Dropping him back a few yards. Fourth down and five. And they're going to be forced 
to pump the ball as it looked like Darren Lee could have probably taken the handoff on that play. He was back there pretty quick and all over Marshawn Lynch. So they're going to go for a nice long field goal here. It's probably like a 47 or 48 yarder. And he kicks it wide left and he does not make it. So the Jets take over with pretty decent field goal, pretty decent position here, field position. After that, they're going to take over here on the 44. And we're going to be in the offset I formation, first down and 10. And we're going to hand off to Bilal Powell, who has a big hole of his own, does a spin to try to get away, but spins right into the linebacker. Uh, does pick up nine yards on the play, and there seems to be an injury. Not sure who was injured there on the play, but does not seem to be a jet at this point. So second down and one, we're going to fake the handoff to Powell on the play action, and we're going to be picked off as Petty did not have the arm to get over the receive the defender to the receiver, and we're going to get the interception there, and that's going to be one of the growing pains of this defense, if you want to call it a growing pain. I'm not sure. It's just a pain, if you ask me. Uh, did not quite have the arm there. It was just completely underthrown. If he got a little more live on top of that, a little more touch, he probably would have gotten it over the, into his hands. And sometimes he can make those throws, but this time he did not. So Clark throws it to the outside, and Cook makes a spin move looking like a wide receiver right there as he made a quick little move to get away from the diving defender, gets himself the first down there. So on the 38-yard line now, first down and 10, they're going to fake the handoff to Lynch. Looking to throw all sorts of time, has all day, throws it, but he is hit as he tries to make the catch, and it bounces in the air, and then it's picked off by Marcus May, the free safety there, the rookie free safety of the New York Jets, and that's another interception. So we're going to take over here on the 27, our own 27, hands it off to Powell, who breaks a tackle, spins, jumps over another guy, and gets it nine yards down the field there. Bringing up a second down and one. Nice run by Bilal Powell. And we're going to lean on that run game a lot. You're going to see that a lot in this game. As it's been easier to run in Madden 18. So much easier. The stick is a little much more responsive. Here we're going to get an easy run here. And we'll pick up about six yards on the play there. And he gets the first down. Moves the chains now for the Jets. Keeping the drive alive. You can see five and a half yards of carry. We'll take that. If he can do that all season long, that would be fantastic. So we are have Bryce Petty looking to throw it. Throws and he gets picked off again. And Amerson this time has nobody in front of him, nobody near him. He's going to run it all the way back for a pick six right there. And it's another situation of we threw into coverage that time. And again, we underthrew the ball. And it's just one of the frustrating things. It just doesn't seem to have the arm strength to make all the throws. And it's going to be one of the things we're going to have to deal with this year. It's going to be a tough one. We're going to have to try to figure that out. So now we're taking a look here as the Raiders get the ball. They have the 7-3 to three lead so far here. And we're going to see what we can do as Marcus May gets in the backfield for a sack there on that one. And now we have a third down and 10. And the Raiders looking to make something happen. Have a flag on the play. Gets Cook on the outside. Had that play the last time I went for a first down. But this time does not quite make it. And there's also a flag. So we're going to see what's going on here. We have a third down and 10. Brings up fourth down. It's going to be holding on the offense, of course. And we're going to go ahead and decline that. And we're going to let them kick the ball to us. Uh, fourth down and five. Yeah, they're going to have to go for the field goal here. Let's see if they can make it. We'd rather have them try to make the field goal than uh, go for a touchdown, possibly, if we give them like, the extra down to make it try to happen again. They do kick you through the uprights. This makes it 10-3 to now, and the Raiders have a decent little lead, although we are still within striking distance. And here's Bryce Petty now. Finally gets a complete pass there. Had a few of them already to this point, about three, but finally gets a nice one there as he had perfect timing on that one. For a second down and eight here. He's going to throw again. Throws it to the outside to Powell, who's able to... Make the catch, run it, and get the first down. Moving the chains, keeping the drive alive. Now we're down onto the right side of the ball with 20 seconds, 26 seconds left to play here. And we get the completion to Robbie Anderson over the middle, down to the five-yard line. We're down to the two here on a second down and goal. Now with three seconds left, I had no timeouts. I mistakenly used one of my timeouts. Try to throw here with time running out, and it probably would have been a pick anyway as there was nobody open, and we're going to have to settle for no points, but we drove it all the way down. It was a mistake on my part using the last time out, and I couldn't figure out how to spike the ball for some strange reason. It just wouldn't let me spike the ball. I was trying to set up for the spike, but it did not happen. Here we are in the second half now, and Powell making the moves, breaking a tackle, getting the first down, and keeping the drive alive again, and it's all about that run game, folks. Third down and nine here. We're going to look to pass. We have a wide open... Uh, Stewart, who makes the catch there between the defenders, gets the first down, holds on to the ball, and we're now looking like we're in a groove here with Bryce Petty making some big completions now to keep things rolling. Second down and four here. We're going to hand off 
to McGuire. That's Elijah McGuire, who gets the first down and a few more, moving the chains, getting it down to the 33-yard line now, bringing up the first down for the Jets. That's his first carry for eight yards. Nice run there as he fills in and spells Valal Powell, who's back in the game now. First down and 10, but we're going to look to throw here. Hits Wilson there on the out route, breaks the tackle, gets into the end zone for a touchdown. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 touchdown. Wilson, that's Marquise Wilson. He's a rookie as well. Gets the touchdown for the Jets and bring us, brings us within one of the tie for the game here against the Raiders. Cannot believe that one there. Just made the break at the right time. And that's one of the situations where he was able to actually make the throw. He got it in there. And it was perfect timing, perfect placement. Gets the reception, gets the touchdown, and the Jets tie the score here at 10 all. And we're going to be looking to him for more. But here's a little bit of a snafu, a dominal tear to uh, Williams. So we lost our best offensive player, and we've lost our best defensive player now. And it's going to get very interesting as things go forward. But here's Carr throwing the ball, bombing it down the field, but it's batted up into the air. And Demario Davis... Gets the pick as he grabs it out of the air. Tries to pick it up and run it back for a little bit, but does not. But gets the interception, and that's the third interception that the Jets have gotten. This defense is what keeps us in games all day long. Check this out, the replay. It just gets hit up in the air, and it's tipped up there, and he just comes down with the ball. Another interception, another turnover for New York Jet defense here. So here's Bilal Powell. Take it to the outside on a second down and seven. Gets enough for the first down, and then some. Moving the chains again down to the 48-yard line. That's 18 carries. 73 yards, four yard average. We'll take the four yard average too. I got to be honest with you. That's not a bad deal. So, first down and 10. Looking to wind that clock down as much as possible. Eat up as much clock as we can. Gets the pass out to Jenkins, the tight end, who's able to break a few tackles. Gets close to the first down marker, but does not quite get it. Second down and in inches there, but definitely keeping the Jets in a good position there. So, we do make that first down and convert. And we're down now on the Oakland side of the 50. And making more plays as Jenkins breaks another tackle. Gets past the first down yard marker this time for the first down. Down to the 22-yard line. And we are rolling now. Second down and eight on the 20. We'll hand off to Powell, who's able to run. Breaks a tackle, spins, breaks another one. And then gets past the defender, over the defender, before being tackled. Gets the first down. And gets it down to the 10-yard line. Nine yards after contact. Gotta love that one. But we're going to be forced to go for another field goal here as we cannot convert again once we're in the red zone. So Candon Zero will put it up. He gets it through the upright, smack dab in the middle, 13-10. to 10. The Jets do take a slim lead here. I hope we don't think that we can rest on our laurels with a 13-10 to 10 lead. Uh, not going to be much there. So the Oakland Raiders go to work, but the New York defense is doing its work and a sack by Jenkins. That is Jordan Jenkins, second-year linebacker for the New York Jets. Getting in the backfield pretty quickly there, too. Looks like nobody touched him. Gets in there and hits Carr, brings him down for the big loss. We'll take that. We'll look at that a couple times, but as a matter of fact. Second down to 21 now. Carr looking to throw. Gets the screenplay set up, but cannot make the throw. And it's knocked loose as a fumble. Wilkerson picks it up, runs it back a little bit. He's finally tackled by Carr. Looks like he uh, grew some muscles there, man. He took down a 300-pound dude. I don't know how he did that, but... Whatevs, we'll take it as it is now our ball here down on the seven-yard line. First down and goal for the New York Jets. Looking to wind that clock down. Fourth quarter, three minutes. We'll hand it off to Blau Powell. Breaks a tackle and is finally brought down. Down to the two-yard line now. Second down and goal. 25 rushes, 102 yards for Powell to this point. Third down and goal now from the one. Two minutes left in the game. We're at the two-minute warning. We're going to hand it off to Powell. Just runs it right into the end zone. Untouched, falls in, gets the touchdown. J E T S, Jets, 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 touchdown. Bilal Powell, 19 to 10 is your score right now. The Jets have a nice little lead here going in to the last two minutes of the game. And this was completely unexpected, folks. Did not expect to see this happen. But the Raiders have driven it all the way down to our side of the field. It's 19 to 10, 28 seconds left to play. Wide open receiver into the back of the end zone. Gets the touchdown. They drove that all the way downfield in less than a minute almost to get that touchdown as they just beat up the defense on that. So they're going to get the onside kick here. Jets are going to set up for it on the audible. 19-17. to 17, 26 seconds left. We have to get the ball here. And we do. Darren Lee picks it up. Holds on to it. And the Jets will get the ball with 26 seconds left to play. Oakland has two timeouts though, but they're going to use those timeouts 
We have a third down and 10. We're going to get into that victory formation. Going to drop the knee, and that'll do it for this game. And holy smokes, we come away with a tight win against the Oakland Raiders, 19-17. to I cannot even imagine how we were able to get this win, but I know how we did it. We pounded the ball with Bilal Powell, and that's what we did with Matt Forte in the first game. This team needs to be a running team in order for things to happen. You throw once in a while, you make the safe throws, you try to get a few big plays here and there, but you got to pound the rock with this New York Jet team in order to win. It was game plan all the way. You can see Petty had a decent game, 15-19, 78%, two interceptions, but did have a touchdown. Not a lot of yards, 166, but it was Bilal Powell was the story of the day. 29 carries on 105 yards. 3.6 was his average, but he he broke off some pretty big runs for us, and it was just steady running all game long. That's a lot of runs. Let me tell you, you run the ball 30 times a game, and you're going to be eating up that clock for sure. But we can see the receiving core did its job. Four catches for Anderson, for Jenkins. Stewart had three and a couple of big plays as well. We'll take a look at the defense here. As we take a look at Darren Lee, who was leading the way for the defense here. A um, couple sacks there, three sacks for the defense, and I think it was like three interceptions as well. We'll click over there in a second. Yep, May Adams and Davis all get interceptions. So plus that fumble from Jenkins uh, from Wilkerson, a lot of turnovers there, and that's what the Jets' defense is built on. But here we are. Uh, Williams is out for five weeks. Matt Forte is out for seven. Our two best players on either side of the ball are now out, and it's going to be very interesting going into week three to see if we can kind of keep up the momentum with this Jets team. And it's kind of a surprise at this point that we won the game that we did. And I almost kind of don't believe it in a way, but. It happened. I was there. I saw it, and I played it, and it, it happened. It was a struggle, to say the least. But we get a question here uh, from Larry Ridley. You got an opponent you know well coming into your house at, at a time. You're both playing at a high level. What do you expect it to be like out there? So kind of like what do we want to do here uh, as far as answers go? We have a couple choices. We're going to go with the middle choice there, which is the safe one. I expect our coaching staff to keep everybody relaxed and focused so we can go out and get a big win. And that's what it's going to come down to. We're going to have to keep this team focused. We're going to have to keep that game plan of pounding the rock, running the ball, eating up the clock as much as we possibly can, and see what we come away with here against a Miami team that when we switch over the screen here, you're going to see that they are 2-0 and as well. Uh, so they're off to a great start as well as we are too. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Please leave your comments below. Leave a like for the video. It helps the channel out. Come on back for new York Jets action here on Got Next Gaming. We'll bring it to you soon. I'll see you around the channel. Bye-bye now.